What's up everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, PlayStation is going to the movies! PlayStation employees finally get the Microsoft memo and Outer Wilds gets a release date. Wrong thing! Active Entertainment is about to bring gaming to the big screen in a very big way. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the next-gen film studio, PlayStation Productions, is already set up on the Sony Studios lot in Culver City, where they're hard at work on the first slate of unknown projects. Do you think we're gonna get a God of War movie? There was a Last of Us film that got stuck in limbo back in 2016, so maybe they'll revive that and hopefully keep Sam Raimi attached. The new studio heads are Asad Kizil Bash and Sean Layden, who's also head of Sony Interactive Entertainment's Worldwide Studios. They're taking plenty of notes from Kevin Feige, hoping to do what for video games what Marvel did for comic book movies. Until now, most video game adaptations have been made by game devs licensing IP to film studios with in-house creative control, distribution by Sony Studios, and Yui Bowl nowhere in sight, PlayStation's new movie venture seems like it's set up for success. With the biggest opening weekend of any video game movie, Detective Pikachu walked so that maybe a Sony Studios movie could run. But while PlayStation makes these big moves, they might want to slow down and let other important people catch up like their employees. As reported in Bloomberg, the news that Sony and Microsoft had joined forces for cloud gaming was a surprise to PlayStation workers. Just in the way that finding out your bosses made a deal with the same company you've been competing against for almost 20 years might surprise you. Managers apparently had to calm down some employees who were worried that the deal might affect Sony's next-gen console. Just in case that got you worried, it won't. The PS5 is going to be just fine. Sony and Microsoft announced last week that they were teaming up to improve game streaming, with Microsoft Azure AI and Sony's image sensor tech among the combined benefits. It's a smart, if unexpected, move, since Sony's streaming service, PlayStation Now, hasn't done as well as Microsoft's Azure. Even Google Stadia, with its huge debut, hasn't totally lived up to expectations yet. This partnership between two of gaming's biggest powerhouses might just turn the tide in the cloud wars. Outer Wilds, the game that's part No Man's Sky and part Majora's Mask, has a release date, and it's soon. The first-person sci-fi action adventure is also a mystery story, which makes a lot of sense, coming from the publisher of What Remains of Edith Finch. Outer Wilds takes place in a handcrafted solar system that's stuck in a time loop, resetting every 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, just saying that gives me anxiety. The game was one of our favorites at last year's E3, and not just because of its charming alien summer camp vibe. Make sure you don't get it mixed up with Outer Worlds, although maybe both games will get some extra attention, like when Apex Construct caught some of the windfall from the Apex Legends craze. Outer Wilds comes to the Epic Games Store on May 30th for Xbox One and PC. And that's your daily fix for May 20th. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up with the news, check out our newest episode of Social Studies, a show about the internet that I host. We talk about John Wick 3 this week. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.